I recorded an original heart piece and sent it out to anyone who wanted it to produce a track with and send it back to me so I could react on camera. So basically I gave everyone one ingredient and they made whatever dish they wanted with it. This is Howard. He's going to be joining us today and he'll be reacting along with us to all the submissions. Well, most of them. And we have little Howard Cam over here uh, so you can see how he reacts in real time. Okay, so this one's from Scott and there's a video along with it. Excuse me, what? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what it's instrument? A lab steel. <laughs> you mostly hear it in like a lot of country music. Yeah. But oh my god, I always thought that was a guitar. This is this. gorgeous. It's a conversation. It's so nice. They're talking to each other in a really beautiful way. And he, he's just he's just really talented too. This is really nice. He's so talented. You guys should do more you guys <laughs> should do more together. This is nice. It hits me right here. It's so beautiful. Yeah, Scott, if you want to start a band, I could see it. I could definitely see it. Right, Howard? How Howard's shedding one single little tear. I see it. Right? Thank you so much, Scott. This one is amazing. This one's from Doug Hansen, and he has a video to go along with it. <gasps> oh, man. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Stop, stop, No, stop. don't. <laughs> no, he's got to keep word on the side, too. Excuse me? in real time. Why are you guys so talented? So he broke it up into little sections to sample. The amount, the amount of time and effort that just went into this alone. I know. I know. Oh like, my god. Regardless of how amazing it sounds, like this is this is a whole this production. This is skill. Yeah. I have no words except for this is absolutely incredible. I love this. Yeah, definitely. I need to watch this again. Yeah. See, this is insane. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Chef's kiss. <laughs> So this one is from Herman the Owl. 
They took the chords from the end of the original. There's some slight pitch bending. Oh, this is so cool. Do you want to put the lizard down? <laughs> it's almost like that moment was so cool. It's like when you watch a funny movie and you're laughing, you don't get, you don't catch the next joke. <laughs> Shit, listening. There's some synths or virtual instruments kind of happening over and just creating this like playfulness that's kind of like nice and hopeful. So you, you had something that was really kind of somber. Yeah, and you sent it, and, it completely. And this is this like is so uplifting and uplifting. Fun. Uh <laughs> okay, he leaves you wanting more. The fact that he went into a video <laughs> I know. of yours, honestly, dedication, <laughs> and found something like applicable for you to say in there. <laughs> Really great. It was so surprising too. I yeah, know, that like, caught me completely off that guard. That came out of nowhere, but it worked. I, I'm glad I'd, I would have spit my coffee. Me too. Out. <laughs> I had to put Harold down. <laughs> this next one's from Keith. Oh my god. Keith. This is so nice. <laughs> oh my god. And it's so hard to tell whether some of the, the effects that linger, the tails, are from the harp or the. the oh yeah, I have no effects, idea. Right? There's a. <laughs> there's there's a really wonderful consistency about all of it. It reminds me of. This is really good. This is a really wonderful arrangement. This is so good. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that modulation. Yep, oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh my god, the panning, the stereo. I love it. This is so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> that that's really I knew it. I was gonna say, please end it yeah, like that. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah, there, there's something so, and it, and it's really difficult to make like a vocoded voice or oh, yeah. or, or a voice with heavy processing to make it work. Have, super have well. that like like emotion behind it, right? It, it's so hard oh, to kind of that. take something so human and add that processing and and make it. You know, it really felt like it was a robot reminiscing about something, right? You, you know, and and that's what and the production also worked in tandem with that yeah and and that's 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 really really wonderful arrangement really wonderful kind of writing and, and production it where where there's this homogenous thing where the layers have this distinction but there's an overlap where is he taking the harp stem and glitching it or is he taking the, the tail into that vocal and, and, and yeah. glitching it right wow. that's yeah that's that's really good that's well done keith uh Oh, little spiky Where's... boy. Oh, it's a spiky boy. And he's a flat boy, too. He's relaxing. Chilling on the table. Listening to some beats. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. This one is from Tom Phillips. And Tom actually produced my previous single, Backyard Spaceship. So we're really excited to hear this one now. <laughs> Oh. 
Tom. His voice is so oh good. Oh my god. He's falsetto. Just give me chills. I, I, I have goosebumps right now. This boy can write Amazing. a hook. Honestly. <laughs> this is the chillest thing. <laughs> so far we haven't heard like a first chorus, first chorus structure in a song, so it's really nice. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I love your little dance. <laughs> Such good work. Tom does really good work. Oh man. Every time I plug in that aux cord, you hand me the aux cord, that's what I'm going for. Honestly, Tom, two for two. Thank you so much. This one's amazing. This one's from Daniel. You know what it sounds like in the background? Like, a, like a, that bicycle spoke when you put a baseball card in the wheel? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but he's down the block. You could barely hear yeah. it, right? I was thinking more That's like it. film. Oh yeah, yeah, you're probably right. No, no, you're you're you're, you're right. Could be either. It's subjective. Oh no, it's film. <laughs> this, there's such an intimacy about it. Yeah, this is very close. Like this is something you you can't listen to in a loud room, you know. Yeah. This is this is alone at night staring at the ceiling kind of music. It's a mood. Yeah. You know what? This is like walking in a f in the fog at night, alone in the in the like the summer at like three in the morning. Oh, you're so right. There's there's something, and 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 I say that because there's something like. That, like this kind of speaks of like solemn loneliness kind of right or like self-reflection you know this has this aura about it i would list i would put this on and go for a long walk you're right at night because yeah. it just it just feels like i mean it's it's seven minutes long so you could you go for a, a nice pretty walk, decent walk yeah yeah it was really wonderful and it wasn't over it wasn't too much no really cool very tasteful this one is from It Looked Like Fire. This is a nice intro. is really nice too. You wouldn't think that this would mix so well with harp, but it does. Yeah. I want more of that. Yeah, but I need we need to listen to more of that group. You know, it's so interesting because I know for us, from where we both come from in our taste. Long that, Island pop. Punk. Yep. Yeah, that's I'm just like that's say it. <laughs> that there's an element of nostalgia for us. And it's so funny because so many of these submissions like try to capture that warbly nostalgic feel but yeah. sometimes nostalgia is just a genre or just a sound yeah and that's so cool right? i feel so nostalgic right now yeah. i want a poster right. of it looked like fire <laughs> like it's one thing to throw it through like a vhs delay you know which is cool horrible yeah. emulator which is really really awesome but it's this. another thing to because that's something that you you're not in intentionally capturing that yeah you know it's just kind of you're making something and then if it resonates that way with a certain 
It did. Kind of yeah. people. It's like. <laughs> it's so cool. You know, like Ratatouille when he eats the. <laughs> and he, then he just has like the. His head, yes. Yeah. <laughs> his childhood. Yeah. The production is really great. And. The voice. Oh, it's the voice. The, the, the singer's voice is just really nice. Yep. Chef's kiss. Really great. Another chef's kiss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from George. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Excuse me, George. <laughs> What kind of rap part? <laughs> oh man, this guy. Oh my god. The, it, the synth layers behind it, it, there's just a really nice level of production beyond just, you know, the writing. Look at that interval. Skill. What's so cool? There's like this shuffling, like almost like there's like a like a fill, like it contextually it sounds like a like a film reel running, some kind of shuffling and moving things and trying it's to like set it up, yeah. right? They caught some of the lyrics, kind of talking about being up late at night, trying to get ahead but feeling like you're always behind. So maybe this is like somebody shuffling and working late at night on something really cool. Maybe it's a self-aware thing of him working on this late at night or something. There was just a really incredible level of production there, and the harp wasn't at the forefront, but it didn't really need to. Yeah, be, it doesn't need. Right, to. but it, but it was really nice because you could tell it generated all of the production decisions. Right, you have some synths that double it in the beginning. You have guitars that follow that that same kind of aesthetic and give that same kind of feel. So it's very clear that this harp part was the was the catalyst for all of this. Right, it wasn't just something that the harp part was put into. That the harp was the starting point. Think about the different sections that it went through, right? Yeah. Like we got the night, like the, the soft, like calm right. opening, right? right? And then it went into singing, which George, amazing vocals. Really good. Uh, I'm jealous. And then it goes into this awesome rap part. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. It really showcases the ability that he has. Yeah, in, in, the wide range. Yeah, and not just kind of production or putting something together tastefully from a source. Thanks for the thanks for the thanks for laying out spitting those bars, George. This one is from Nate.
bed. He automated that because the original didn't have that slowdown. No, that right? yeah, that slowdown wasn't there. That was really tasteful. That was beautiful. Right, and the typewriter sounds were really well designed. There was some really cool panning. The typewriter, the voice, the production, and and this was so cool because it really did capture the essence of the original in a really yeah in a really curious way where. You you're very, it's very clear that you you hear the original the in there. Yeah. Little fragments and pieces, a note here, a note there, right? What surprised me at the end is hearing kind of a chunk of it, right? At the end as as one. Uh which is which is really nice, but the the blending of layers and the the samples and sounds used and the voice and the typewriter, it it really gives some really wonderful context. Uh, in, in, in like an environment, you know, like it, it, it places you somewhere. Yeah. It's really nice. This one is from The Tone Mob. <laughs> Certain sections of the original harp stem were panned differently. About this is Everything. that <laughs> yeah but, but the vocals are really sitting low in the mix it's like a mixed choice like, yes. it's like a design choice right and, it, and it's supposed to be like kind of cryptic the essence of, of what the intention is is there right it's this really like yeah. somber thing with these mellow vocals that are low in the mix and this this kind of like snappy snappy home. snare nice. with like this really lush reverb on it really cool it's really tasteful use of uh, the harp, the original harp samples, because there's different layers. This is a mood. I hate to like make the comparison to artists and whatnot, you know, because I feel that. Oh, but, you sound like yeah, but harpist. but uh, you like. Hey, have you ever heard of? <laughs> yeah, no, but that's like telling please. a guitarist. Have hey, you have you heard of? <laughs> have you heard of Jimi Hendrix? Have you heard of? You know Led what you Zeppelin? should check out since you play yeah. guitar. I, I completely agree with you, but it's very reminiscent of of Brand New. Oh my God, you're right? so right. Like those 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 quiet moments where the vocals are better. Those are the kind of mixing decisions on like a production level, and you know, and it's not just the production; it's it's the kind of mood. It's just that production fit. That mixing fit really well, so this was a really good choice. This one is from Outer Sense. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I swear to God, if this is a metal track. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> oh my God, turn this up. This is, oh my God. There's a duality about it. They're working in parallel to one another. Like, this is the appropriate amount of aggressive because look, it's coming down now. Howard, are you going to open up the pit? I love that kick. So now we're going to get you a fractal audio amp modeler. Honestly? And download some modern and massive and... Uh, It'll be all set. It'll be all set, yeah. That's awesome. I'm game. Yeah. Thank you, Outer Sense. Yeah. <laughs> what? Noah, I put you in your stem. <laughs> oh my god, we have to do this. Wait, did this just this come email in? email just came in. I butchered your stem. Noah! <laughs> Sorry, I've never done something like this and I'm terrible at mixing. <laughs> Noah. Noah, I think you're too hard on yourself. We don't know that yet. We don't know that yet, but I...
it's cello, yeah. It's so nice. Cello. Cello. <laughs> I'm not a baby, I swear. <laughs> it's just so pretty. That was really wonderful. I sound over yet. Shh. <laughs> I don't know what that sound is at the end, but I really, it's really like nice. It. And it, you know what is so funny about that is that. Well, the fact that it drew you to tears is proof that you don't need to be good. Yeah, exactly, good. exactly. You don't I, need to be I good love at it. Mixing. I didn't. I don't but, think there's well, anything. Well, you don't need to be experienced at production to make something that's that has an impact. I'm terrible powerful. at mixing, Noah. You know, I mean, it's amazing. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad mix. Like if like the idea is there, and that's the whole point of music in in general is that the idea manifest itself successfully it makes you feel an emotion or you know the hopefully the intended emotion if not a really cool emotion a lot of artists are hard on themselves about their technical abilities when when you realize that it, it's not always about that that's a butcher i would go to <laughs> this one is from captain lo-fi That's, uh, that was really, that was... That's so nice. That was really nice. Thank you, Captain Lo-Fi. <laughs> this next one I'm really excited about because it's from Pig and Boots. It's like a piano ballad. We have a little chime in the back. I love it. I'm really curious how he's going to fit the harp stem into a major key. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Right? Oh my god, vocals! Hello, can anyone see me? Oh my god, where's my lighter? <laughs> Imagine this is just like a song without the harp stem. You don't need wants, it. He just wants to plug himself. Thigh. It's amazing! <laughs> yeah. Plug away! Yeah. The vocal production is really cool. Is that a cello? Is that me? <laughs> it's me! Doesn't it sound like a plucked instrument? That was a really interesting transition. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. It sounds like a pizzicato. The harp is a plucked instrument. Right? It, there's there's some processing on the original stem. It sounds like yeah, it doesn't changes sound like the attack. That fast sped up trill. Hits really nicely. Ooh. 
It's kind of these like synth ins and outs. Let the water flow through you. And and what what's so really wonderful about this thing is it it takes it, it challenges traditional song structure, right? Because you listen to this this first half of this thing, and it's this like you said, yeah. it's kind of like a piano ballad, right? With these really nice vocal really vocals. emotional, yeah, really right. nice major key, and and it and you would imagine that like you know, if I heard this on the radio for like the first ten seconds, I'm like, I know exactly how this song is gonna go: verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, right. chorus, end. Right, I already heard what? it all. I'm shutting it off. I get it, right? <laughs> I'm just except, like, except yeah. the fact that there's this this first half that's primarily a vocal and piano section, mm -hmm. and then it flips it on its head and goes, "No, we're just we're gonna we're gonna modulate you to like a, a major, a, sorry, from a major to a minor, and it's gonna the harp's gonna become this this kind of extended." I hate the word bridge, but extended bridge element for the second half of the song. Yeah. Um, and, and what's really interesting for me listening to this is trying to understand, trying to get in his head and, and think like, was this an existing first half of a song? And then it was it was worked to incorporate this harp part. Oh, yeah. Right. Or or was the harp part start, you know, like what were these two things kind of in pieces and they married in a way? And, and, and what's really great is that like, you know. We don't, we don't know, have but to know. yeah, it doesn't right. matter either way, right. even if it was. Yeah, but but when you listen to something that makes you kind of ponder how it was put together, that's how you know it's kind of kind of cool and successful. Yeah. He kind of says in his description, or, or I think he even, maybe he said it in the email, he was just like, I don't really know music theory too well. So the fact that he's creating stuff like this that's so interesting really it's says so a lot good. about you don't not have needing to, to be. Yeah, music theory. <laughs> well, there's what a balance, a, right? What is a but F you don't have to. chord, uh, add nine, minor. Anyway. <laughs> Seven plus an add. Thank you, Pig and Boots. Add Thank you so much, plus Pig and Boots. Thank you. <laughs> plus a, that's Thank all the chords I know. Boots. Thank you. Thank you, Pig and Boots. <laughs> this one's from Joe. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's Joe. What Are you never, kidding me? Never <laughs> Never thought to put something like this over it. This is amazing. Yeah. What do you think, Howard? He's loving it. Yeah, he's jamming out. And that's what's so cool about stuff like this, is it really goes to show that there's so many different ways you can interpret a single stem. It's so cool. There's not one right or wrong thing to do, and this is just... This is just this is fun. Amazing. Oh my god, this yeah. is so much fun. I'm vibing to this. Oh yeah. This snare's pretty pretty nice. Some reverse reverse sounds going on. That's so cool. Oh man, that slaps. Honestly. This kit has a cool sound to it. Right? And it just goes with this playing. I... Sick kit. <laughs> Sick beats. I love it. Thank you, Joe. That was so fun. This one's from Baz. Makes him feel something. It makes 
makes me feel something. Guitars is is so tasteful and so tastefully mixed. Yeah. Right. It's just enough driving force, but not too much. A lot of really cool subtle panning choices in here too. Yeah. Really nice. I love all the guitar phrases. Really tasteful. It's like a conversation. It's like call and response. Almost. Right. Almost. Yeah. It fills in the it fills in the voids where where it doesn't always need to, but it. Right. It's yeah. It's just... So nice. He liked that one. <laughs> this next one's from Lennon. Something recognizable now. <laughs> and I love it. Right? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you hear this, that? You know this reminds me of? Baths. Oh my god. Doesn't it? Yeah, totally. It's like... There's something oh God, about you're so it. right. This is so bad. It's just so slightly either ahead or behind. Oh, man. <laughs> you vibe into this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Like I'm getting like, there's something with the tempo? Yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> um, yeah. that's the whole point. Yeah, it's great. That's how you know it's good. You gotta put Howard down. I know. Wow. Careful. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was fantastic. This one's from Carl. Carl's a bass clarinetist, and it's so beautiful. I'm so excited for this. It's beautiful. Because he uses pedal effects with clarinet. This is uh, this is a really like astounding pairing of instruments, right? right. Two instruments you don't really see. Oh my god. There's something so intimate about this. Also, how can you guys write lyrics? I don't, I'm so, this is beautiful. I'm so big at writing lyrics. I love how like the harp's in the back, right? But during the vocal section, it was kind of more towards the front. So it's kind of, it's kind of dipping in so and now, out, which yeah. is really nice. Cause you can tell there might be some automation, right? And in, in, while mixing, so it's, it's, there's a clear attention to detail. You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> oh man, I love it. I love that like glitchiness. It gets caught on itself. I love oh. that's ex that's the best way to put it. It gets caught on itself. Right? It's really like ethereal, introspective. Oh my god, on the vocals. You know, my my favorite, my favorite, that, that was amazing. It's not done. It's not done. Okay, now it's done. <laughs> but that's what's so cool about, um, my, you know, personally, one of my favorite things is to hear, like, something that's, like, kind of, like, 
I'm a, I'm ready to roll my eyes at how generic it is. But then it just takes you and goes, boom, no. Guess what? <laughs> Guess no. what? No way. Not generic. Yeah. Not that I was about to roll my eyes, but, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating. But when he's about to say, once upon a... And, yeah. and you know what that last word's going to be. And your mind takes you there because what other word could it be? Yeah. Right? So you complete it in your head. And then when he's about to deliver the word, it stutters and it glitches and it changes. And it comes back later, right? I kind of jumped the gun on talking before it ended. And I, I kind of, I was just so excited. <laughs> but, but, uh, welcome to my life. Yeah. That was, that was the, that was, that was a really wonderful way to handle something like that. Yeah. Right. Because your, your audience and you're playing into the fact that your audience might know certain phrases, right? So you say something that's going to be perceived as something that's like, oh, I know what he's going to say. And then when he says it, flip it on its head. Yeah. Right. And, it, and it, structurally, this whole thing was really, really wonderful. And Defying your expectations. Yeah. It's like when you go from a 5-1 chord, you're like, I know where it's going. But then guess what? You don't go to 1. Yeah. <laughs> you go to uh, 4 or 6. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Carl. This one's from Michael. I like how we're still moving because like the beat is still driving you forward, right? Like we're both like, yeah, so we're waiting for oh. it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We had a nice little fade out. Nicely dirty. That was really nice. I, wow. I, I really enjoyed that. There's not much to say about it. It's so good. But it's great. Thanks, Michael. This next one's from Dom. Modulated the harp a little bit. Hear that? Yeah. It doesn't even sound. It doesn't. I can't recognize the line really. Did he chop it up? Sounds like it. There's some so sort of filter pretty. and or drive. Those drum samples are super cool too. Yeah. Symbol on the upbeat. I love that little that little line, whatever's going on in the bass. I love that. The bass is the bass. This the layering here is just. Oh, it's so good. It's so successful. There's so much happening, but it doesn't. And, it's not distracting. Right, and the harp doesn't take a back seat. Right, it's yeah. it's still that lead line, but it's not too high in the mix, and it's not too generating of the song. Everything just kind of coexists and it's really great. That was really 
Oh, I love that. He loves it. Yeah. Wow. Who doesn't? So this one is by Terminal Shock. I love the glitchiness. It's like circuits. Yeah. Nice lead scent in there. really nice here is that he's really created a lot of his own lead lines yeah. that are more catchy than the original I harp piece. <laughs> I would like some. I like that this one wasn't that aggressive. Like the hard part is not the central focus. It's just, it's there and then sometimes it's, it's less noticeable and then it comes back and it's really cool. I like what he did with this. And Samuel says, all sounds except for the ride cymbal and bass drum are made only using the original harp stem. Oh, it's exciting. That's cool. Let's hear it. it sounds like a majority of it's reversed. Yeah. Which, which leaves you open to a lot more options when you're using only the original stem. I just love, I love the rhythm of this. Like, can't stop moving to it. Oh yeah. It feels there's so much movement going on in the whole piece. I'm glad this is as long as it is because. Oh, if it ended, I, I'd be mad. <laughs> I could keep this on. You could keep this on for a while. Right. Just kind of, just kind of jam out. This is a chill beat to study to. It's very. It's almost minimalist in a way. How there's there layer upon layer upon layer, and then really slow changes throughout that you don't notice. Like it doesn't have Until this we're like there. Yeah. right exactly, and it doesn't have this like verse chorus verse chorus structure. It's just kind of like these things grow and then they come away and then they come back and then they and then they change really really subtly. That's beautiful. You know, and and this it, this is is really to me it's so exciting. You know, what I just realized Howard doesn't have headphones. He can't hear any of this. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Howard. He, he missed that last one. Yeah. He probably can still hear. He can probably hear through the headphones. You're good, right? He's fine. Look at him. This next one's from Nick. Ooh, soft opening. Nick is an amazing guitarist. Can we just put that out there? Nick's got a cool YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Check him out. This guitar th this stuff. <gasps> what? What really fits the harp part really well, like all these layers are really wonderful, but but at its core, that the percussion. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? The percussion. And it's there the whole time. It's so nice. Yeah. That the production is pretty pretty cool. That's nice. I wish I could play guitar, man. Oh man. not a lot of time left, I couldn't imagine what he's gonna do. Is this the end? No. It's kind of not fair that we have like, it's kind of like having a cheating. cheat code because we can see how long it is. <laughs> Next time we're not looking at the leg. No. Oh man. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> that leaves you wanting way too much more, I think, because <laughs> No, it's not fair yeah. to end it like that. Yeah. Come on. That was cool. That's really awesome. It would have been really, really cool to like the first half be that really calm thing and then the second half to be this kind of really nice big lead guitar thing that that Yeah that grows or a little double, bit. Or you know, like or just length. keep going. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll I mean, see more. Stay tuned. Yeah. This one is by Salva Brin. Thank you. 
Well, hopefully that's a hint of what's going. Yep, yep, it is a hint. Yep. This is so cool. It's like um, ethereal. It's ethereal and glitchy. Yeah. Which is an amazing combo. Yeah, because it's really hard to pull off. Yeah. And these vocals are really wonderful. Oh my god, it makes me feel the, something. And there's just enough processing on the vocals for it to make you feel something, but not be too much and of it's a vocal quarter. Super cool. <laughs> So cool about this one? Everything? This yeah. is like all in. Like I don't think yeah. this is this is this is uh It's done mm -hmm. so well. You know what it, it's it borders sound art, you know, like noise. Oh this is this like is art. Rock. Yeah. It's cool, right? He says yeah. So this one's by Charlie. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that bass. There's some really cool polymeters going on here, polyrhythms. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is my jam. You gonna break that robot out again? Constantly is going in directions you wouldn't expect it to, but appropriate directions. Yeah. It's really interesting. All these little branches. Oh man, that's, that's cool. That's a cool drive on the harp, yeah. It's hard to put good overdrive on the harp, but I think he did it well. He did. You know Lavender Town? Yeah. Yeah. I can see this work in there. Yep. Like something really beautiful, but also like. Kind of spooky. A little spooky. Right, it's haunting, but it's but it's pretty. But it's beautiful. Yeah. Kind of like you. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. That was amazing. This one's from Eileen. Ooh. I didn't expect that. I love that. that beat Ooh. yes I lean oh my wow. god that's some really cool chopping up oh this beat I love that little, that little thing in the back, the little guitar. It's a little sped up too, right? The tempo. The it tempo, feels it's like, like a it. driving tempo. It's nice. If not, it was a really good use so, of percussion. Yeah, yeah, and really well done. Oh man. That was great. I love that one. This one's from Damien. I feel like we're in a jungle. The backwards jungle. Yeah. Stutter became percussive. That's really cool. I hope that comes I back. I love that. Yeah. Even if not, wonderful detail. So nice. There it is. Oh, it's like pitch bending a little bit. <gasps> I'm really curious what. I was thinking that. I'm 
trying to figure it out. It sounds it's like gotta it. be, and if not, it's still wonderful. That is okay. That's an amazing effect. I love that. You know, it's it's one thing to uh, just take the hard part and, and reamp it and put it through some effects or processing, but it's another thing to do it with extreme taste and develop it into a real piece. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is a whole yeah. different thing. Because essentially, we're giving them a piece, you know. Right. Right. But to elevate it is is this is, is you know, way better than the original. Look at this. Is that rain? It's so nice. The white noise. And I love the ambiguity of not knowing if something's rain or white noise. <laughs> but it's great. This one is from Bermuda Teenager. So he says in his email that everything except the bass and percussion is taken from the harp, harp stem. Oh my god. So I'm not sure how unrecognizable it's going to be. So, Or if you hear anything that isn't those things, just realize that it came from your harp. Well, I'm ready for this. That's harp? <laughs> That's from harp stem? That's what he said. Oh my god. Oh, I love this intro. It, it, it's so, no, having the context of knowing that the ambience is in a synth. You know, we're not waiting for it to come. We're not, you know, I, I'm, I'm anticipating at this point. We're not, we're not really going to hear it in its true, true form, right? Yeah. That white noise. That is so cool. It's like something straight from the eraser from Tom York. Yeah. Right. I, oh, there's some of it. You can kind of hear some of the harp. Mm -hmm. But even now, it's like, it's so far removed from the source. And yeah. it really says something. It really generates a really interesting discussion about sampling. <laughs> that, Sorry, that's fine. No. <laughs> if, if you take apart something on a molecular level and put it back together in a way that it's unrecognizable, is it still the same thing? Is this still a harp? <laughs> I know, if you like, take if I took, away... If I took one of your cells... I say you could take and, it. <laughs> and looked at it in a microscope. You know, mm -hmm. how much of you is that? Right? And it just becomes another cell. And if you use it with other cells to build something, how much of you is in it? You know what I mean? It, it, oh it's so it, it's so interesting because it's it's if you really think about it, if you take a copyrighted piece and sample it to the extent where it's so unrecognizable that you Can can't you still be legally copy strike something? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so so it, it's really an interesting statement, you know, like Dissonance. A lot of a lot of work went into figuring out putting this together. Oh yeah. So thank you, Bermuda Teenager. This one is from Doug Beacon. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love how it has that like rolled chord too. It's so nice in 8-bit. Oh my god, that's so cool. So that's Andrew playing it. Electric kid. It's really cool. Oh my god, the fact that he, like, that's so cool. I can't even imagine how hard is this, like, an electric drum kit. Is that harder to do than regular? I'm not a drummer. <laughs> I don't know. This one is from Swells.
because it's like one of those like percussive sounds that doesn't sound like a drum. Yeah. Like it just sounds like stuff dropping and stuff slamming, but it, but it, you know, each one it has works. a role it's that awesome. associates with a drum, like a kick and a snare, right? So this it becomes like a, a like a gray area in the realm of of sound design and percussion, and it's really cool. Love it. Great. There's just so much movement happening. I love it. It's intense. Thank you so much, Swells. This one is from Sound Isles. Oh my god, I love this atmosphere. It's so nice. So cool. Is that like buzzing? Do you know, like low, like... It sounds like a million so insects. Nice. <laughs> right? But like, in a beautiful way. Drop my spoon. <laughs> Those low notes in the background almost sound like... Like low male vocals. Oh, you're right. And like church, church oh, reverb, right. like almost like in Zelda when you walk into the Temple of Time, you know? Oh, it man, has that I like it. really ethereal. Oh, those Especially are vocal now. samples. Wait. <laughs> okay, so it went from Zelda Temple of Time to Metroid Prime. <laughs> really good. This is amazing. And Sound Isles has like a channel, right? Oh it's yeah, like it's amazing. It's like metal demos and, and whatnot. Yeah. Guys, check them out. It's amazing. Really, this is, it's like large scale, really grand, but oh, not over the top, man, right? Oh man, I love that. Skills. Thank you, Sound Isles. This one is from Isomatic. It's really interesting because it leads up to this kind of vocal sample moment, and you think it's going to either like drop or become really yeah. big there, right? That's kind of the EP. Like, nope. No, and then it disorients you and then brings you to something else, which is really cool, and that makes it really linear. <laughs> That's that thing on the keyboard you go like that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Don't even look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It's the only button you, you touch on the keyboard. When you hit a note, you go... Mmm. This one's from Patrick. It's a nice opening. It's it sounds epic. like far away. Drums in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Is that microcosm? <laughs> Feels like. <laughs> Every time I'm like, that that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that pedal does a lot of things that you can find in a plug in too, so. And that's what's really cool is that you don't know, right? There's nothing proprietary about yeah. it. It's just like, here's the sound. Let's see if this works or not. You know, we don't have. It doesn't have, matter where it came from. We don't have yeah. a physical object to identif identify it with. You know, it's just kind of like, what are these sounds good? I knew it. I was waiting for it. That's really cool. It's a, it's a really bold choice to kind of take that long, set the track up as one thing, yeah. and then where where the real activity in the track is in the latter half, 
right? It, it's it works. It works. It works. It's a bold. It's a bold choice. It's really nice. This one is from Eric. so cool there's some sort of drive on the violin now as it gets more intense the signal becomes you know the signal oh starts God. to clip so not only is the playing getting more intense I can't it's so it's too bit it's too good to talk over Like someone played that. <laughs> I'm tough and I'm not emotional. Okay. I am a level-headed person that doesn't get affected by music. I, I don't cry when I listen to beautiful music. Why would I cry? It's just really nice and I'm fine. Okay. I played violin for seven years and I... It always sounded like... Sh I could never make any beautiful sound come out of that. Violin is hard. <laughs> That's why I'm a harpist and not a violinist. Yeah, harp's easy. Harp's harp is easy. Harp is just harp's piano flipped on the side. Yeah, yeah, harp is for babies. Harp's Violin, for babies. now that's that's where the talent is at. This one's from Jeremy. I like that the one harp note is being used as like a delay. It's like a percussive thing yeah. for the guitar. It's so interesting to hear chords that weren't used in the original stem, right? right? And how, they, cool how they can fit in to the context if used right, cut or cut up correctly. Yeah. And this is, what's so cool about this is that it, it does, it's not necessarily a guitar piece, right? The guitar comes in and it has a, a presence and then it pulls back. Right. And now, I guess, there's percussion, so. Else. This is so it's nice. Really cool. Just the production choice, you can kind of, from my from my perspective at least, you can kind of tell that this person is a guitarist, right? Just to, just the way the guitar is sitting in the mix, yeah. is because they're kind of a primary element. Oh my god, I love that he took so that they, line. So they the come guitar. together, right? It's, it's so kind of nice. cool, right? It's almost like it's almost like if you you know listen to like a jazz artist, you listen to Wynton Marsalis, the the keys are there, right? Yeah. A lot of the times, but it's never it's really like a secondary element. Right to, to and then you hear the sax come in. Yeah. At, at the forefront, it's like, oh, this is a sax artist, right? The production choice that speaks about, like, the artist and what they do, right? And then, and then that's that's just a, a method, and and it, it, it's working here. It's cool. Yeah. Delay. It's so every, cool. Yeah, every time. You can't really mess it. up you reverse delay. No, no. It's always a good choice. <laughs> this one's from Borpus. Borpus submitted something last time too. And it That's was really cool. Awesome. Again, awesome. <laughs> Where's the harp? Yeah. <laughs> But again, it, it doesn't it, matter. The harp is not the focal point. Right, the harp is either like it, it's really a point to generate something. Like you're essentially saying to everybody, "Here's a starting point. Here yeah, you go. Go. Right. Just go do your thing." And and the fact and that this one went right. And, and yeah, but it's it's so 
It's so kind of beautiful and curious so and optimistic. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like it's kind of like if you if you throw like there's so much happening yeah. right now. I love it. If you throw something into like a wood chipper that that turns it into tiny little atoms, right? Or like okay, okay, let's say let's Fargo. say let's say you have a wood chipper, <laughs> okay. right? And you can control the size that it shreds things into, right? This one has it really, really small, right? And you, th you throw the heart piece into the wood chip and it just kind of like flies out and it's raining on you and it doesn't matter what it was before. The fact that it's a bunch of little tiny cool pieces raining so on you nice. Is, is nice, right? That is, that is what this piece is yeah. to me. This one's from Martin. Oh man, he posted this on his Instagram story and I could not wait to hear it. I didn't cheat. This reminds, you know what this is like, it's like uh, reminiscent of like Samurai Shampoo and like um, Nujabis. Yeah, yeah. Piece. Yeah. Right, this has this, like this, this reminds me of, of the first time I heard something kind of lo-fi groovy. That's this how you, is, okay, that's how you know it's so good because yeah. this reminds you the first time you heard lo fi. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh right. my god. Well it has this <laughs> yeah. really wonderful character to it. And it's short and sweet. I mean It's just that it's just yeah. a big part. And and that's 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 all it needs. Right? <gasps> no, no, it's only a minute. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. This one is from Ryan. Oh, what? This is like a chill beat. It's fun. This is so fun. You know what this reminds me of? Like, what? driving down the highway with like one arm, with, like one hand on the steering wheel, and like the top down, you're just like... You know, like driving down the beach. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you're in a Jeep, right? The top down? The top down, just like, the hair's blowing, you have the sunglasses on. The hard part is sped up. Oh, I really like it. It's so nice. That was fun. This one is from Ben. Oh, I like this intro. Slow vibrato. Really cool. So good. And the, the melody is kind of tucked behind yeah, everything I love that. really subtly. I would never think to bring the bass up for this is the bass well, stem. Well, so we had, so your harp has separate outputs for yeah. the for the different ranges, right? So there's one for kind of everything and one for the bass. So we had recorded just your bass pickup and everything right. simultaneously. In case, yeah, people want to use the bass so, stems. Right. So Ben took the the bass stem. And did something really forward. cool with yeah. it. Brought it forward. I right? we haven't heard that yet. And that and that's really cool because this is a really clever use of that resource we gave. Because yeah. we were even questioning, should we send it? You yeah, know? like who's gonna use it? I and, mean, if they want to put an effect on it, they can. Right. But it reminds me more of like the like the Alva Noto, Ryuichi Sakamoto collaboration stuff. Yeah. Where you have this kind of like some this ambient thing, but you have these modular, or or just kind of really synthetic percussive elements that aren't really too percussive or like driving of like a, a head bump or, or a beat yeah. but it's but it's the 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 kind of juxtaposition of something kind of ambient but like a little a little haunting and yeah i hear it these little clicks and beeps right those yeah, sounds right honestly yeah this like, is like async like um yeah Exactly this. Oh my god, that's so funny. Right? Because <laughs> this is Alvinoto and Ryuji Sakamoto in their Glasshouse performance. It's so good. 
Oh, I love the glass house. It's a really wonderful record. I love that you have that available just to grab behind you. I, I never know when I need to bring it, <laughs> bust it out. Have you ever referenced, have you ever used no. that before? No, oh, but, <laughs> but you're waiting. Yeah, I was waiting. Oh, okay, wait. I had no anticipation of this, because now it is... Now it is <laughs> a little different from Now that. it's this, forget I said, anything I said about this, forget it. Put it back on the, put it's it back on back. the <laughs> No, but, but uh, it's really interesting because... The guitar is like so grungy. I would never think. And the drums are really so raw nice. in, a, yeah. in a good way. Here we go. I was wondering how it was gonna tie back together, and hoping while simultaneously hoping it, it did. You rarely hear those kind of two, two aesthetics juxtaposed. Yeah. Which I really personally enjoy. Like when when expectations are set up a certain way and then kind of kind of changed.